Welcome to another Wicked Web Wednesdays with me, Chris Davidson, brought to you by Speaker Business Builder. Today's topic, what's in a name? It's actually a label for a much bigger subject, which is to do with your website, your homepage, and how quickly and effectively and efficiently you communicate what it is that you do for a living. I'd like to invite you to join me on a bike ride around my local town as I take some photographs of local businesses and see if there's a lesson that they can teach us. Where do I live? I live in a little seaside town called West Kirby, halfway up the UK on the left-hand side. You can see it on the map here. It's halfway roughly between the cities of Chester and Liverpool, a little seaside town of seven and a half thousand people. In order to get the most out of our little journey around West Kirby, you'll need four pieces of paper and a pen. One piece of paper is called One Look, then need more professional services and local bars. If on our way around West Kirby, I show you a business and you go, yeah, I know exactly what that business does for a living, put it on your one look list. If from the information I've given you, you go, hmm, not quite sure, I need to know a little bit more, goes on the need more list. If it's a professional services organization, that's where it goes. And we'll finish off with local bars. We'll have, uh, we'll have a little bit of fun uh, just to finish off. Okay, everybody ready? On your bikes, let's go. First business, Est Italian. Do you know what Est Italian does just by this photograph and the name of the business? I think you probably do. Another, Royal Bengal. Pizza Magic. Karma. Figo's Mediterranean Kitchen. West Kirby Dry Cleaning. I admit their shop front could do with a bit of a spruce up, but do you know what West Kirby Dry Cleaning does as a business? Here's another, Wilson's Chemist. And finally, let's finish off with Bargain Booze. Do you know what Bargain Booze do for a living? Interesting, isn't it, that a lot of local businesses will have their telephone number printed above the shop front too. Bargain Booze doesn't do that. They just have Bargain Booze open seven days a week, as if you need to know anything else other than that. Here's a run of local shops. Let's go through them from the left to the right, so furthest away from the camera to the nearest to the camera. Furthest away on the left, Bragg Shoes. Do you know what they do for a living? I think so. Next is a Lavender Blue Florist. Admittedly, you probably can't read that from the photograph, but that's what it says. Next to Lavender Blue is Roberts, the black and white shop, Roberts. Then there's the Ophthalmic Opticians, and finally to the right of that, Boots, a well-known UK pharmacy chain. Now, if we go to a close-up of Roberts, you can immediately see there to the left of his name, it says Family Butcher, and then to the right, he's got his telephone number. So now you know what it is that Roberts does for a living if you didn't know beforehand. Interestingly, uh, Roberts has been established for years and years and years. I certainly remember it all of my life. Used to be run by the father, now run by the son. The optician on the right-hand side, now he's done the opposite to Roberts. So Roberts has put his name in the middle and the fact that he's a family butcher to the left of his name, the ophthalmic optician has put what he does for a living in the middle and then put his name, A.D. Melling, to the left where Roberts has family butcher. Now there is another opticians in town, Harris Opticians, and here's their shop front. Interestingly, if you compare the shop front Harris Opticians to their website, you can see that there is a carry through of the brand from the website to the shop front. They look the same, the same colors, the same fonts, quite nice. And on the website, you're immediately asked which practice do you want, the West Kirby practice or the Heswell practice? Heswell is a town about five miles down the road, just to put that into context for non-locals. Here's another business that's trading under the name of the owners or the name of a person at least, Hector's. Would you know what Hector's does for a living unless you saw the shop front and on the right hand side you can see it says takeaway sandwiches, on the left hand side their telephone numbers. So you don't necessarily know what Hector's does unless you have that additional information. Another couple of businesses. 
The clock shop. Do you know what the clock shop does by looking at this shop front? You certainly do. Old antique clocks and barometers, barographs and the like. Now you can see just about that the shop is owned by Trevor Kelly. It's written above where it says clock shop. It actually says Trevor Kelly, but that's partly obscured by the lights. But Trevor Kelly wants you to know that what he does for a living is antique clocks. So he calls that out very highly. And here is another antique shop. Very clear what this shop does. Now this shop is actually owned by Helen Horswell, somebody who, who I know very well. She's been around for years and years and years, Helen. Her name is not on her shop. It is actually on a board in the shop window along with a telephone number, but it's not on the shop front. Interesting these different approaches. So now let's go to firms that trade by the names of the owners. Typically professional services firms, accountants, solicitors, property agents, estate agents and the like. So here's Clive Watkin. Would you know what Clive Watkin does purely by name? Not really. When you look at the shop front you go, oh yeah, I know, I understand he's a property agent. Above Clive Watkin's shop front on the end of the building there is an advert for Ian Free. Ian has to tell us that he's a solicitor because he could be, for example, an accountant, or some other professional. So he has to tell us what it is that he does for a living. Further down the road, another property agent, Bradshaw, Farnham and Lee. Now let's finish off with three bars. I'm going to give you the names and photographs of three bars and I want you to pick out which is which. One of them is uh, the archetypal long established English pub. Been around for years and years and years and is exactly what you would expect an English pub to be. Another one of them is a more recent bar, a refit uh, of an, uh, uh, another building, and the most recent bar on the block is a trendy cocktail bar owned by two young brothers. Which is which? Here they are. The White Lion, the West Kirby Tap, and the Wild Inn. So, how did you get on? Let's have a look. One look and you know exactly what it is they do for a living. Est Italian, Royal Bengal, Pizza Magic, Karma, Figos, Bargain Booze. Very clear what they do for a living. West Kirby Dry Cleaning, clear. Bragg Shoes, clear. Lavender Blue Florist, we know what they do for a living. The Clock Shop, owned by Trevor Kelly. The Antique Shop, owned by Helen Horswell. Wilson's Chemist, absolutely clear what it is these businesses do. We don't need to go through the door to know what it is they do for a living. We need to know a little bit more information here. Roberts the Butcher. We don't really know what Roberts is just by name until we get right up to the shop front and then we see he has Butcher. Ah, we know who Roberts the Butcher is now. I put the op ophthalmic opticians into this list because although we, we know what an ophthalmic optician is because it's written on the shop front, it's just interesting to notice the difference in approach that he has in the layout of his shop front versus Roberts next door and versus Harris Opticians, the other optician in town. Hector's takeaway sandwiches. You don't know what Hector's does until you get to the shop front. You say, oh yes, that's where I get my butties from. Professional services firms, Clive Watkin, Ian Free, Bradshaw, Farnham and Lee. Those are clearly professional services organisations. You need to know a little bit more about them to know whether they're accountants, solicitors, property agents and the like. And the pubs? Well, the White Line is a long established archetypal British pub. The West Kirby Tap is the more recent refitted pub and the Wild Inn is the trendy cocktail bar set up by two brothers whose name actually is Wilding and that's why they call it the Wild Inn. So all very interesting, a little trip around West Kirby, but what does it really teach us? Well, let's clear the board and have a look. Let's take the lessons from those local businesses and take them straight to the home page of your website. When a visitor arrives at the home page of your website, the first thing they want to know is, am I in the right place? Am I in the right place? Did I mean to go to Figo's or did I mean to go to Royal Bengal? Do I want Mediterranean? Do I want a curry? 
Am I in the right place? Just remind me what it is that you do very quickly. I need to know immediately what it is that you do. You sell curries. You do Mediterranean cuisine. You sell me pizzas. I then need to know very quickly, how can you help me? Do your takeaway pizza, sir, in less than 10 minutes. Great, thank you. Why should I trust you? Now, of course, in a small town like West Kirby, seven and a half thousand people, we know everybody. So everybody knows that Roberts the Butcher has been around certainly all of my life. The business used to be run by the father, it's now run by the son. Harris Opticians has been around for a long time, as have many of the other firms. The professional services firms, some of them are run by people that I used to go to school with. So it's a small town and we know everybody. So this question doesn't necessarily need to be answered immediately by the shop front because we know all the people in the town. However, you are, with your website are not necessarily serving the local population. So that is a question that you do need to be able to answer really quite promptly, quite quickly. At the end of the day, people coming to your websites are asking a couple of questions, okay? And the two questions that you need to be able to answer are these. Question one, do you know your clients better than they know themselves? Do you know your clients better than they know themselves? It is a critical question. Second question, do you have proof? These two questions are the questions that you have to be able to answer promptly, efficiently, quickly, decisively through your website. Get that information up there as quickly and as promptly and as efficiently as you can. Testimonials help with this. Testimonial videos help with this. Get that information there. If you can convince people that you know their needs better than they know it themselves and you have the proof, you will be well on your way. That's it for this episode of Wicked Web Wednesdays. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Click the little bell, make sure that you are able to be notified of every edition of Wicked Web Wednesdays when it comes out. And thank you very much for watching. Bye now.